What's going on guys? It's the Skylander Dude back here with another video. And we're back here, Skylanders hunting in 2022. This episode's filled with Eon's elites, employee exclusives, and so much more. You guys already know how this series works, so let's get right into it. So similar to last episode, I'm going to start off with some loose traps that I got for my collection. Keep in mind, most of these came from different lots, and if you include all the different pieces in them, they probably only came out to like $1 or $3 a piece, so not that bad. So we got a magic hourglass, life sword, water flying helmet, undead orb, undead captain's hat, undead snake, fire totem, earth totem, magic totem, a tech upside down handstand trap, and a dark upside down handstand trap. Now uh, this is a good one. Uh, I believe it's like a 30 or $40 trap that I only got for a few bucks. So let's move these and start opening some packages. So starting off strong, we actually have some prototypes. I believe they're more officially called like test shot molds or something like that. Either way, in here, we've got a prototype Barkley Mini. It's not much to this figure. It's an unpainted, basically just a mold of the plastic. Uh, obviously this isn't the real color of Barkley at the base though. That is the same green just without the uh, transition of light green that's normally on the life bases. But this was an auction. I got it for like nine bucks or something. Pretty good for a prototype. And the bottom here has no chip or not even just the white slip of paper to cover the insides. It's pretty neat, but not the only one. Now, if you guys remember in previous hunting episodes, I actually did open up a prototype once before, and that was an ember mold. So similarly in here, oh, there's the real figure, but there's also a prototype chopscotch mold. So for the two figures here, I think it came out to like 20 bucks or something which is pretty good considering one of them is a prototype from the factory. But uh, you will see here that this one's actually broken. It's missing the whole ax here. And I believe this is just because it wasn't either in a different piece or just broke off, but it does have a steel rod or a metal rod running through the, uh, the whole handle of the ax there in the actual figure. I don't know if this is just an earlier version where they had yet decided to put the metal rod in the figure or if it just happened to break off with the axe but either way i don't think it takes away that this is still a pretty cool figure to own and another sensei prototype to add to my collection now i did already open this one from the box it was shipped in but next up we have a sealed spires adventure pc or windows mac starter pack just tilt this up so you can see this but here we have the sealed starter pack i believe it was around 40. It was off of eBay. It was an auction. I was the only bid on it. Surprisingly, I thought this would go for much higher. I've seen these listed for over a hundred sealed, um, but I don't think it's actually worth that much. Maybe like 60 to 70 is a safe range to say, even even less, honestly. But the point is you don't see them often. I didn't even have Spars Adventure on the PC. You can see by the dirty sticker here, it is still sealed. It hasn't been cut or anything yet, but still pretty cool, kind of obscure of a thing to collect the sealed starter pack but i mean this has got to be close to 10 years old now so that's pretty cool i think you can kind of see here spyro and gilgrunt have kind of loosened up and are falling out of their little plastic inserts there which kind of sucks but they're relatively in the same spot so it's fine for now also it's got like a ripped sticker mark or something on the top of here but these are just small things that i'm pointing out 40 bucks i still think is a good deal Next up, got a pretty small item here. Now I usually don't buy games uh, singly off of eBay or anything, but uh, 3DS games in particular, I seem to not come across at all when I purchase a lot or just something of big collection of Skylanders. So when I saw 3DS, Trap Team for the 3DS, I figured I'd pick it up. It was only, I believe it was like 10 bucks or something. So pretty cheap, mo. And although I do somewhat collect the games themselves, not really going for them directly. So if I come across something, I might pick it up, but I figured 10 bucks was too cheap to pass this up, especially when I don't really see these in lots at all. But let's move on to the first chase of the episode. Now I'll push this in here to show you guys how big the box is, but I am gonna take it out of frame and then just take everything out of the box to show you what's inside. So everything was conveniently in this bag here. And I took out the chase. Actually, <laughs> the chase is not the green metallic wash buckler. So I guess you could say there was two chases in this lot, but I'll give you a quick glimpse of what was inside. We've got a half sealed 
uh, Spars Adventure 3 pack, which is kind of cool. Then a bunch of random common figures. Green Metallic, Chewed Up, Wash Buckler. A quick draw of Rattle Shake is kind of cool, but overall, nothing crazy in the bag. But the real chase, the real reason that I bought this lot is a new in-box Snowbright Stormblade Employee Holiday 2015 exclusive. Now, the whole lot surprisingly came from Goodwill. Uh, it was 40 bucks, I believe 40 or $45. Uh, pretty good, I think Stormblade on her, or well, Snowbright Stormblade goes for like close to 90, close to 100. So that's a pretty good deal, I'd say. Got not for resale on the bottom. Unfortunately, the box is a little bent right at the top there and it's a little bit dinged up also up here, but uh, still in relatively good condition, at least for my standards. I mean, from a distance, it's really hard to notice those small imperfections. And taking that sort of damage, you could say, into consideration, I still would have paid 45 for just that figure. <laughs> Overall, I'm satisfied. Now, before I open this next package, I'd like to give you all a quick history lesson. Considering most of my audience is not from France, I think most of you will learn something from this. But every year on January 6th in France, Three Kings Day, French families will go out and buy a cake and also a porcelain figure called a fev. Essentially, these fevs would be hidden in one slice of the cake. So when the family's eating it, whoever gets the fev is like the king for the day or something. I'm, I'm realizing now that I'm probably the worst at <laughs> giving this history lesson, but this is just a brief overview. I'm probably wrong on something. If you know the specifics, let me know in the comments, but essentially this is a big holiday, a big deal in France. And uh, fevs are pretty popular, especially collecting fevs. And I believe the main like source of French fevs in France is called like the fev collector or fev collection or something like that. Thus concludes my history lesson. With that knowledge, we have a package here from France. And surprise, surprise, we've got some porcelain figures in here, AKA Febs. Oh, and apparently a postcard. Merci. That's thank you in French. I honestly don't know where this is, but I appreciate the seller for throwing that in. Anyway, let's carefully take these out and hope none of them are broken. But as I'm sure you guessed, yes, these are officially licensed Skylanders French Fevs. So this is the full set of 10. I believe I got it off eBay. I believe it was like 25, $25 for the set. And now I kind of don't want to take it out of this plastic packaging. <laughs> Before I decide if I want to take these out or not, I'll give you a quick glimpse at each of the characters. So we got the set of 10 here, starting off with Stealth. These are all about less than an inch tall, pretty, very small figures, or if you can even call it figures. So we got Stealth Elf, Chop Chop, Jetvac, Eruptor, Prism Break, Cinder, Spyro, Trigger Happy, Stump Smash, and Gil Grunt. So I was actually able to just flip these the right way around, and I think I'm gonna keep it in this plastic packaging here. I don't wanna risk cracking or chipping any of the porcelain figures here, and I think Keeping this way is kind of a nice way to display it. It's easy. I don't have to worry about setting them all up. So I think I'm gonna keep it inside this plastic. But I think this is really neat. I like collecting sort of obscure things like this that you maybe you've never heard of. And heck, maybe this is official packaging and who knows how rare this is to still have these figures sealed. Like I'm sure most families cut these open and hit them in the cakes or maybe the bakery hides these in the cakes. And although maybe I'm biased, I think Pop Fizz would have been a better character than, I don't know, like Stump Smash. I think we can we can replace Stump Smash with Pop Fizz. Still pretty cool figures and uh, another cool item for my collection. And now we got a handful of Elites to unbox here. So I've got a few Elites in this box here, and then I've got some that I've already taken out, which I'll show right after. The ones that I already took out are from a different package. But the first Elite we have in here is Elite Terrafin with slightly dinged up front but it's all right and if you saw last episode you know i got some elites in there too so with these next few elites that i'm going to show you this will actually complete my first wave of elites those ones from trap team all sealed so that's pretty cool but next out of the box is an elite whirlwind i'm actually just going to take off the box here i thought i'd be able to keep it in frame but whatever Elian's elite whirlwind one of the cheaper ones but still 
pretty neat. This whole, uh, there's three elites in this box. These three costed, I believe it was 50 to $55, something around there. But the last elite in there was Eon's Elite Gilgrun. One of the more expensive ones sealed, I think it goes for somewhere close to 40. So overall, this box of three was a good deal. But that is not all. I have one more Elite that I got from a lot that I'll show you here. That of which being Eon's Elite Stealth Elf, one of the more expensive Elites, I believe. Now, because this came in a lot with a few other figures, I don't have an exact price, but uh, dividing up how much was in the lot probably only came out to like 15 or 20 bucks just for the Elite. But with this edition, that completes the first wave of Eon's Elites for my collection. Now this item will probably be the only ever non-official uh, or licensed product you'll probably see here, but it is a battery pack for the Spars Adventure PS3 and Wii Portal of Power. If you don't know, those portals use batteries with a wireless USB connection. And I've seen this on Amazon years ago for like an outrageous price, but I've never actually seen it anywhere else. So when I saw this pop up on eBay for like 14 bucks, I figured I'd grab it even if I'm not gonna open it and use it. Maybe I will, batteries are pretty annoying, but it's still pretty cool. Maybe it's not something that I'm adding to the collection per se, but it's still neat to have. So I figured I'd show it off. Now guys, it's not gonna fit in frame, but this here is gonna be very, very cool. I'm very excited for this. Uh, we got some water appliance connectors. No, that's not what it is, hopefully at least, but this is really, really cool. This is not going to be the best way to show it off, but I'll take it out anyways and do a pretty cool reveal. Actually, I'm going to have to turn off the lights for this one. So we've got an LED supercharger sign from the top of a store display. Now this plastic cover on top makes it a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to turn the flash on here. Now I've been toying with it for a few seconds here and I can't seem to change it from lighting up green. That's fine, still looks pretty cool. Now this looks to be from the top of those store displays that would have a TV if you're either playing the trailer with a portal on the bottom that you could test the figures out in the store. But the seller didn't seem to have the rest of the setup, just this sign here. And I got this from OfferUp. I believe it was around 40 after shipping, which was a little bit more than I probably would have wanted to pay, but still looks pretty neat. You don't really see too many of these too often, so I think that justifies the price. Now it might look a little dirty here, but this is just the plastic covering that's over it. I don't know if it's intended to be taken off, but I'm not going to. It probably protects it more than anything. So still, there's no question that this is a sick item to own. We still got one item left, that being the final chase of the episode. With this being the final item of the episode, you best believe I saved a good one for last. Coincidentally, this is the most expensive item from today, but uh, you'll see why here in a minute. In here, whew, it looks so nice. We have got Master December, 2016 Exclusive Employee Edition. And this is my first Imaginators Chase, actually. Now, I only paid 80 for this from eBay, which I think is still a really good deal. And uh, keep in mind, this is sealed sealed. This tape at the top here has not been cut. Neither sides have been slit. And man, have you ever seen a sword so straight on Ember? Could not ask for anything else, maybe actually some better lighting, hold on. Well, that's not much better, but you can kind of see the figure a bit more. But wow, just give you a moment, 360 look here at the packaging. Got the art of the employee edition on the top, and of course on the bottom, not for resale. It was just a coincidence that we happened to get two employee editions in the episode today, but I'm not complaining. I think it was a great deal. So here we have everything set up from the episode today. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was from the episode and what you're hunting for as well. With that, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.